Hello, this is a short demo on AllJoin where we are connecting two devices using AllJoin framework. So let's look at a typical uh, AllJoin uh, network which will have multiple devices. Some of them will have, uh, some of them will be standard devices with a router and some of them will be thin devices without a router. Thin devices typically are embedded devices which will go on uh, appliances. Uh, which do not have enough memory and standard uh, devices or standard uh, nodes are the ones which will have a uh, uh, full-fledged operating system running on it like an Android or a, or a PC. For the purpose of our demo we'll be using two devices one of them a standard device another one will be a, a thin client so uh, we'll just show how they communicate each other over all join uh, connection. So in this example, we have got a standard device with Android running on it, and uh, it's got an all-join uh, client app and a router. Uh, and the client app is for the coffee maker, and it's uh, looking for a coffee maker. And so far, it's not finding one. So now we have got a coffee maker, which has got a service app running on it, an all-join service app running on it. It enters the same Wi-Fi network. And uh, this uh, device will look for a router and it searches for a router over the Wi-Fi, it finds a router and, and, and joins the network and then it looks for a device with the same name and it finds uh, a client app looking for the same coffee maker and they uh, discover each other and establish a connection and the session is established and after that they can pass on command to each other over this uh, connection they have formed. So in this video clip of a demo, we have two views juxtaposed next to each other. Right side is a mobile and the left side is the PC. So the mobile is our standard client which has got a router and a client running on it and the PC is, uh, simulates the coffee maker. So here what we see is the client is actually looking for a coffee maker uh, and, the, and the, it's not able to find one and obviously it will not find one because we not even started the coffee maker in the PC. So in uh, in few seconds we will uh, just start the we will we'll start the coffee maker and uh, here we bring it up and they discover each other uh, establish a session and uh, now the client can start sending commands uh, sending commands to the coffee maker we send the co command to make coffee and it responds back with coffee ready uh, then we will send a command to uh, make a latte and uh, <clears throat> It will respond back with that and, and so on. So this pretty much says, you know, uh, kind of simulates uh, uh, any any service uh, and a consumer uh, type of a, uh, app and, and, and a device. So it could be a heart rate monitor or it could be a light bulb or it could be any other service, you know, uh, that, that can be pretty much working in the same fashion. So... <clears throat> This file just shows how we created the APIs for the devices. Uh, we entered the values in the XML file and this generates the code. XML file will have methods and it will have signals. Methods are for uh, uh, causing an action like gen make coffee. Uh, signals are uh, for events like coffee ready. Um, and it's a pretty uh, simple way of just adding it here and compiling it. So this pretty much uh, completes the demo for a basic device communication in all join network.